Alrighty, Aphrodite, on to my top 10 favorite Robin William movies. Yes, I know, I just said already Aphrodite. At number 10 is Bicentennial Man from 1999. While Robin is known more for his comedic chops, I do feel that he was a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant dramatic actor as well. And in almost every dramatic role, he did bring com comedy into it as well. So, but him playing the, the android, the robot, robot? robot was awesome. I thought it was uh, very touching and heartbreaking for him to like have this life that goes on for infinity and him to see all these people that he loved and cared about pass away um, and then at the end he to get his wish and his dream. At number nine is Happy Feet from 2006. It's a Disney animated movie as well. Um, and in all honesty, it's going to be mentioned again in another video <laughs> because that's just the way I roll. Because um, it stars another one of my favorite actors. So, but um, I think it's fun. And I love that he played two different penguins and he did a great job on that. At number nine is Awakenings from 1990. This, I believe, is actually based on a real event. And he played a real guy, but um, it showed human interest, I think, and his uh, human um, compassion, which I thought was really well. At number seven is License to Wed from 2007, and of course it's a comedy, a romantic comedy, and he plays Father Frank, and I love Father Frank. I just thought he was awesome. And number eight is Patch Adams from 1998, which is kind of like a dramedy. Um, there are some very um, deep topics on it, subjects and stuff, but of course there's the comedy in it as well. And you learn that, that you know, you really should just not treat the illness, but treat the, pa the I was going to say passenger, patient as well. And I think it's interesting how the guy who played his roommate, um, whose name just eluded me, I can't remember his name, Philip Seymour Hoffman, I had to think about that, and Tom, and uh, not Tom, but Robert Williams, both died the same year, so I think that was interesting. Anyway, at number uh, five is What Dreams May Come from 1998. My mom hates this movie. She absolutely hates it. And, I mean, if you were to say, Mom, what is your least favorite Rob Dreams movie? Without any hesitation, it would be What Dreams May Come. Um, I love the movie. I think it's entertaining. I think it's imaginative. Um... I think it's heartbreaking, I think it's heartwarming, and I think it's a brilliant movie visually as well. I understand why my mom doesn't like the movie. I get it. But I look past that and enjoy the rest of it. At number four is Mrs. Doubtfire from 1993, which is a classic Robin Williams movie. And it is beloved, it is classic, uh, even without Robin Williams, <laughs> and uh, it's probably like up there on most people's lists as one of their favorites. It's entertaining, it's funny, um, but it also like has a good message too. Ouch. At number three is Jack from 1996. Uh, which I thought was a very uh, interesting subject matter and uh, brave for him to take on. So I liked it. At number two, of course, is Aladdin and from 1992, and he plays the genie, and where most of his lines and dialogue was improvised, and that role was written specifically for him, and he nailed it to a T. My number one favorite movie with Robin Williams in it. I started out with a drama, I'm going to end with a drama at number one is 1989's Dead Poets Society. I can't, 
cannot express justicely enough how much I love this movie. It is my second favorite movie of all time. Um, not just my favorite Rod Williams movie, but my second favorite movie of all time. It is, I think that it should have gone, to, that Robin should have won the Oscar. I think it should have won Best Picture. Um, both were nominated. Robin unfortunately lost to Daniel Day-Lewis for My Left Foot and the movie lost to Driving Miss Daisy, which I've never seen My Left Foot because it's rated R. And I have heard that Daniel Day-Lewis did a very good and well-deserved job, but I, and it's not just because I love Robin Williams, this movie to me is the cream of the cream when it comes to dramas. When it comes to Robin Williams' work. Um, and then, of course, I do like Driving Miss Daisy. In fact, I own it, but again, Dead Plus Society is my second favorite movie, and it is the best movie ever that was made in the 1980s. So personally, I think it should have won, but that's just me. It's also the only movie I was ever grounded from growing up. I used to watch it like two or three times a day after school. <laughs> so my parents finally were like, enough is enough. And I was grounded from it for like a month. And then they would watch it when I wasn't allowed to, so I would sneak downstairs and watch it through the outside window. <laughs> Anyway, that's my top 10 Robin Williams movies.